Hey, I was talking with a colleague, Michael DeShallot, the other day, actually, and he was talking about the AI class that we put out for ISHA members. And he was saying, you know, I love what you're doing, but he said, for me, it's challenging sometimes because I'm not so much a typing, writing type of learner. I'm more graphic. I'm more image based, you know? And so I was like, well, there's stuff for that too. And he goes, yeah, I know. I just, he said, it seems like a lot of this stuff, these AI programs, you have to type in what you want them to do. He goes, and I don't always feel so confident in making sure that I'm typing the right things. And I thought, you know what, that sounds really reasonable. And there's probably a bunch of other people that are having the same concerns. This is how cool it's getting, how fast everything's coming. If you haven't checked it out yet, you can put ChatGPT on your phone. They have an app. Make sure when you search for it in your Apple store or the um, Google Play store that you get the GPT app. There are other knockoffs that you have to pay for. The GPT app is free. You then connect it to your chat GPT account. If you're just trying to get ideas, if you're trying to work on your show, if you're trying to think of things and, and be creative, you can watch. This is so cool. How could we create more exposure for the art form? Creating more exposure for stage hypnotism involves several strategies that can help bring it into the mainstream and garner broader interest. One, social media presence. Utilize platforms like YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook to share clips from shows, behind the scenes content, and educational material about hypnotism. Regular posting can help build a community of interested followers. Two, collaborations and cross promotions. Collaborate with popular content creators, artists in other genres, or influencers to reach a wider audience. Cross promotion can introduce stage hypnotism to people who might not have otherwise encountered it. Three, streaming specials or TV shows. Work towards securing a special on a streaming service or a TV show. This not only legitimizes the art form, but also makes it accessible to a vast audience. Four, educational content and workshops. Offer workshops, webinars, or online courses that educate people about the art and science of hypnotism. This can demystify hypnotism and spark interest. Five, podcasts and radio shows. Regular appearances on popular podcasts or radio shows can help in reaching different demographic groups. Hosting a podcast can also provide a platform to discuss hypnotism more deeply. Six, live streaming shows. Host live streams of hypnotism shows or interactive sessions. This can attract a global audience and offer an immersive experience even for those who can't attend in person. Seven, public relations and media appearances. Engage in PR campaigns and seek opportunities for media appearances, interviews, interviews, and features in magazines or newspapers. Eight, festivals and public events. Participate in art festivals, cultural events, or public gatherings. Uh, this can showcase hypnotism to diverse crowds who might not typically attend a hypnotism show. Nine, partnerships with educational institutions. Collaborate with schools, colleges, and universities for educational demonstrations or entertainment events. This can also help in reaching a younger audience. 10. Interactive and diverse content. Creating content that showcases the variety and versatility of hypnotism, including its use in therapy, entertainment, and personal development, can attract a broader audience. By implementing these strategies, stage hypnotism can gain more exposure, helping to grow its audience and elevate its status in the realm of performing arts. I'm going to follow up on what it said. I want to combine collaborations with public relations and diverse content. I would love to combine your points about collaboration, public relations, and diverse content. January 4th is World Hypnotism Day. How could we come up with some ways to combine those factors and do something really amazing on World Hypnotism Day that would garner a lot of attention? Combining collaboration, public relations, and diverse content for World Hypnotism Day, you could create a multifaceted event that garners significant attention. One, collaborative hypnotism event. 
organize a large-scale collaborative hypnotism event, possibly a world record attempt involving hypnotists from around the globe. This can be done virtually or in a significant public venue. Two, celebrity involvement. Get celebrities or influencers involved, either as participants in the hypnotism event or as promoters. Their presence can significantly boost media interest and audience reach. Three, educational workshops and panels. Host educational workshops and panel discussions with experts in the field. These could cover the history of hypnotism, its uses in therapy, and its role in entertainment. Four, interactive online campaign. Create an interactive online campaign leading up to the event featuring mini challenges, quizzes, and informative content about hypnotism. Utilize hashtags to increase visibility on social media. Five, media coverage. Reach out to media outlets in advance with a press release detailing the event's unique aspects. Offer exclusive interviews or behind the scenes looks to key me media partners. Six, diverse content showcases. Include diverse applications of hypnotism in your event, such as stress relief sessions, creative performance hypnotism, and demonstrations of hypnotism's therapeutic aspects. Offer ways for the online audience to participate or interact during the event. Eight, celebration stories. Share stories of people whose lives have been positively impacted by hypnotism. This human interest angle can be very appealing to a broader audience. 10, post-event content. Create a plan for post-event content like highlight reels, interviews, and educational snippets to keep the audience engaged even after the event. By incorporating these elements, you can create an impactful and memorable World Hypnotism Day event that not only celebrates the art and science of hypnotism, but also significantly boosts its visibility and public understanding. So you ask it a question, it gives you a whole bunch of answers, you drill down on one or more of the answers. It gives you another whole list of answers. You drill down again. You just keep doing it and keep doing it until you get where you want to be and you feel like you have an idea that you can take action on. That's the that's the nice thing about this, right? And again, you're not sitting and typing and typing and typing and drafting and drafting. You're having what amounts to like a conversation. It's a pretty nice tool to have. And now... I have some ideas to bring up in our upcoming webinar on World Hypnotism Day, and, and we can discuss some of these things. Use these tools. Use them. Talk to you later.